Okay, guys. Thank you guys so much, I, as always, for getting on tonight. I'm sorry about the weird lighting in here. My um, light burned out <laughs> right when I walked in, of course, for this meeting. And I'm not tall enough, nor um, do I care to change the light bulb up there. So here we are with my computer light. <laughs> I look kind of like a ghost. But anyway, I just want to First of all, Sarah Taylor here, um, Diamond Ambassador, and I want to just thank everybody, number one, that attended Leaders Retreat. Um, you guys are amazing. It was such a huge bonding experience, and I enjoyed meeting and just getting to know everybody that we've been talking to over the computer this whole time um, and actually putting actual personalities and bodies and faces and names and everything together. Um, if you guys could mute yourselves, I'm going to try and mute it all again. Um, getting some feedback. There we go. Um, but for me this year, you know, I, I want to thank everybody that didn't get to go as well. Um, you guys are the driving force behind the team and we are so appreciative of all the work that you did. And just because you guys didn't go this year doesn't mean that you guys are not on the fast track to go next year. A lot of the girls that were here this year were either A, not even members of our team this time last year, or B, they were silver ambassadors or ambassadors or something like that. And they drew their line in the sand a year ago and decided to run for it. So you guys have the opportunity to do that this year. And, and really and truly what Leaders Retreat is all about is it's about growth. It's about bonding. It's about learning. It's about having fun and building that team culture um, as a, a big company. We got the chance to um, sit down and talk with other teams while we were there. We got the chance to um, chat with executives. I know many of our, our, I think everybody on the team met Alec and Tarl at one point or another. Our executives are extremely reachable and they're just one of the ambassadors basically i mean they just sit and they chat with you and they're um interested in what you have to say and it's just a really good um experience and you realize just how much of a voice we really do have to the executive team which is absolutely incredible so tonight what we want to do is kind of sit down and go over all of the stuff that we learned because you guys we learned a lot i think i can unanimously speak for the group that went that we all walked out of there with some crazy belief with some crazy um, drive and determination and some goals. And some of us even came back and ranked up based on what we learned at Leaders Retreat. Um, it was absolutely incredible. And if you guys have the chance to go next year, you have to push for it. It's one of these events that's just, you don't realize how amazing it is until you get there. And you can't possibly realize how amazing it is until you get there and words, from us tonight are not going to describe how incredible it is. Hopefully we can do a good job conveying what we all learned, but really it's an experience. And um, I wouldn't trade it for the world, just having that bonding time. Um, the first time I went to Leaders Retreat, it was myself and one other person, and y'all, I barely made it there. My person that came with me made it because they did triple bonus credits at the end because not enough people had qualified. But I barely skated in and I was just wide eyed. I had no idea what was going on and it was, it changed my business. The second time I went, I brought a, a team and it was amazing. And then this time I went, I brought an even larger team and it just changes every single time because you start to realize exactly the impact that you are having on other people through this business. And when you sit down and you meet your extended team there and you get to see the people that you're impacting and you're talking to on a daily basis, it's not just a picture on a screen on the other end of a Facebook page, you guys. We are impacting real people and this business and this opportunity is a huge and very, very real opportunity. So I'm going to bring my takeaways back at the end of this and talk about some of the initiatives that I was involved in and presented um, to Plexus. But first, I'm going to turn it over to the girls that I've invited on the call. I wanted to invite a couple of the people. I couldn't invite everybody that attended Leadership Retreat to do the recap, but I wanted to invite a couple of the people that I felt could give a different viewpoint at different levels of this company. Okay, so Amy Welch is going to go first. Um, she is a Sapphire Ambassador heading towards Diamond at lightning speed. I know it. So um, <laughs> she's going to give some of her takeaways from some of the um, from some of the speakers and just the leadership in general. 
Okay. Thanks, Sarah. Hey, guys. Um, so this was my second leaders retreat. And the one thing about these events that I just take something away every time, and it's not even what the speakers say or the content or the cool, you know, sneak peeks, like we got to see the planner and all of that mm -hmm. stuff. That's great. But it really is the bonding and being around other like-minded people. And while convention is like amazing and gets people fired up, Leaders Retreat is intimate. I mean, it was nothing to walk in the hallway past, you know, Sheila Medina or Ame or Celeste, all these names, and they chat with you because they're not as um, going in a thousand different directions like they do at convention, you know, hanging out at the hotel bar, talking with, you know, Jill Renfro and all these other diamonds and jewels and just hearing all of their stories and sharing ideas. To me, that is what is the big takeaway from Leaders Retreat. And like Sarah said, that's not something that you can get from what we're about to share with you tonight and like what we're going to talk about. Um, anytime you can be around like-minded people, boy, that really fuels your fire and, and just builds up your belief and your drive. So, you know, whether it's an opportunity meeting or convention or leaders retreat, oh man, try to get there next year. But anytime I'm in a meeting with all these people, the one thing that dawns on me every single time, it happened at convention when I saw all those people up on stage, it happened in Hawaii and Kona, it happened again at leaders retreat. Anyone can do this. I don't care who you are, men, women, young, old, introverts, extroverts, anyone can do this. But not everyone will. And that's the thing about Plexus. And so they had the Barefoot Executive. I don't know if you guys have um, heard of her. It's Carrie Wilkerson. She was a guest speaker. And she said some things that really just resonated um, with me and with everyone else. And it kind of separates those, you know, from anyone can do it to those who will. And so I just wanted to give you guys some, some takeaways I had from her. And I love her because she's just like me, you know, no excuses. That's basically what she said. So anyone can have the desire and the drive to do Plexus, right? Anyone can have it. I'm sure, you know, 100% of the people that sign up on our teams, they have the desire and they have the drive, right? But that's not enough. It's not enough. So you have to have that one piece of the puzzle. And then you have to have this sort of desperation for your business. And when she first said desperation, I was like, well, that kind of sounds negative. Like we don't want to be desperate for people to buy our products, but that's not what she meant. She meant you have to have this desperation for you to chase the end goal. You have to be desperate for it. Sometimes that desperation comes and you weren't planning on it, whether it's a medical bill or a layoff or someone gets fired, like maybe it was created for you, but you can also create that desperation yourself. The other thing though, that's still not enough, right? So then she talked a lot about having a destination. Where the heck are you going with this? It's great to have the desire and tell everyone, I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm working my Plexus business, I'm spending three hours a day working it, but where are you going? Like you have to know why you're doing it more than a dollar amount, but you have to know where you're going. You have to feel it in your gut and you, you have to get rid of the blame and the excuses. Carrie's thing that she says all the time is stop it. And I love it, right? She's like, stop it. Are you an adult? Okay, then stop it. Don't tell me you don't have enough time. Don't tell me you're already working a job. Don't tell me you have kids. Don't tell me, you know, nobody buys from you. Don't tell me you don't have time for the team calls. Just stop it. Stop the excuses. Stay up late for the team calls. Have somebody else watch the kids. Pick up the phone and call your team. Call your potentials on the phone. Just do it. And that is really true. You have to cut out the negative mindset and you have to cut out the excuses and all of the people in that room have done that doesn't mean it's easy it doesn't mean we haven't done it afraid and it doesn't mean we haven't gotten discouraged but we do it anyway and so the other thing she said is stop feeling sorry for yourself you know so what it's been a year and you haven't hit gold so what what are you doing what are you doing to make that happen right stop focusing on the negative Stop focusing on the white lines and the people that said no and the people that quit. You have to be in it to win it, and you have to focus on what you control. And the main thing of that is your mindset. 
you have to believe and you have to say to yourself that you're going to do it. I was talking to somebody. I don't know if she's just, if she's on the call or not, I'm not going to call her out, but I was talking to her the other night and she told me that her, you know, she hit a rank last month and it wasn't even on her purview um, at the beginning of the month because she didn't think she could do it. She wasn't even thinking about it. And then all of a sudden something happened in her life and she decided on a weekend, like, you know what? This is happening. It has to happen. Now I need it. And you know what? She hit that rank. And a lot of people don't realize how powerful that mindset is. It, it happened to me at Emerald, guys. And, and I don't want to say this isn't why I'm diamond yet, but I'll tell you, I haven't made that decision to hit diamond like I did in Emerald. I decided in like June that come hell or high water, I was going to be Emerald in October and I didn't care what it took. And I believed it so much that it was almost like it already happened. And I would say that's probably 90% of the reason why I hit Emerald. And now obviously like my team and everything helped me, but because I had that mindset, everything then I did flowed from a positive mindset, my narrative, you know, what are you saying to your teams and your customers? You create your own narration. You choose your narrative, the negative versus the positive. Every day you wake up, you know, if you say, well, my team isn't, isn't growing like they should, that's negative. You're blaming your team. And blame is so much easier than taking the responsibility. It is easy to say, well, my team won't get on team calls. Instead of saying, I don't do team calls often enough or I don't get my team excited about them and taking that responsibility. So, you know, that's something Carrie talked a lot about. Just stop the excuses and start focusing on the action and do it every single day. You know, buying a planner isn't working your business. Stalking somebody else's team page for ideas isn't working your business. And thinking about your business is not working your business. Like you actually have to do it. You know, the other thing Carrie mentioned that I really, I really, really liked it. She took a minute and she, she started talking about um, DNA and how a butterfly and a, um, a caterpillar have the same DNA, right? Exact same DNA. But they have to go through this process, right, where the caterpillar goes in the cocoon. And it takes that same DNA and it gets all murky and yucky and gross and it makes this mess. And it has to get really messy and yucky before it emerges in a butterfly. That butterfly cannot be a butterfly without the breakdown of the caterpillar. And she related that to our business that sometimes you can't avoid the breakdown. Sometimes you have to have that breakdown. Sometimes the business is going to get hard. You're going to lose people. People are going to doubt you. You're going to get discouraged. But that doesn't mean you quit. You emerge as the butterfly through that breakdown. And I really like that. Now, what she also said that I loved is stop creating your own cocoon and stop creating your own messes. Because a lot of times it's that mindset or it's us blaming everything except ourselves um, that, that kind of creates that mess. So those were my takeaways. We, you know, Plexus talked about some awesome things that I think some other people are going to cover on the call tonight. But Hope that was helpful. That was really my takeaway, like the no excuses and, you know, just stop it. Just stop it. And I love it when it comes from her instead of me. Um, <laughs> you know, it's hard to tell people that, but it's so true. Like I, and Sarah Taylor, you probably have this a lot. Sometimes, you know, it doesn't mean that we haven't been discouraged. And the two ladies on this call or, you know, they ranked and are rock stars. It doesn't mean we haven't been discouraged. It doesn't mean we haven't doubted it. It doesn't mean there are days when I'm so tired. I don't want to do my power hour, but I do it anyway because I see the bigger picture and I have this drive. And I'm to the point where even before, like I had to be successful because I was more afraid of failing in front of all these people than not working my business or someone telling me no. Um, so anyway, those are my takeaways. Hope Thank that was you helpful. so much, Amy. Yeah. <laughs> I 100%, I mean, listening to Carrie speak, it spoke to me so much. I was sitting there going, yes, yes, yes. And then suddenly she said something and I was like, oh, that's me. You know, it, it was just one of those things that it's, she's so blunt and she's so in your face, but she speaks so much truth, you guys. And I loved her stop it. 
Stop it. Stop making the excuses. Start taking your products daily. Stop the BS. <laughs> and, you know, saying that on a team call. But seriously, when I'm receiving a message from somebody on the team, they're like, I can't figure out what's wrong. I can't figure out. I'm like, okay, well, what are you doing? They're like, well, I can't do this and this and this and this. And I'm like, those are the times when me as a leader, I have to, I have to start doing my due diligence for you guys and saying, stop the excuses. Those are excuses. Yes, we all have jobs. You guys, we could all grab a thousand excuses and bring them up as reasons not to be successful. But what it takes is a decision to be successful. When I finally decided, because I got stuck in lost strength, you guys have all heard that probably from me before. I got stuck in lost rank. I got stuck for five months, but until I decided that no matter what, I was going senior Ruby and I was going to come back from senior gold because I had lost Ruby and hit senior Ruby. That's the moment that my business started to take off and I got kicked back into momentum. If you are listening on this call right now and you are stuck, you need to just start going. You need to get out of your head and stop making the excuses and start going. So sorry, that was a tangent, but seriously, her talk, if you guys can follow the Barefoot Executive, Carrie Wilkerson, and look her up, she is legit. Um, I'm going to pass it over to Heather now. Um, Heather, if you could unmute yourself and tell us a little bit about your takeaways. Hey guys, I'm Heather, and Sarah and Amanda asked me to talk on tonight's call because I just got back from Leaders Retreat as a Silver Ambassador, and so I was just going to tell you just a little bit about what got me there. Um, I started the products in the spring and I, I was one of those that wanted to take them for a few months before I was willing to recommend them to anybody. And I love them. They've changed my life, but that's not what this call is about. This call is about leaders retreat and what that's done for me. So I decided in June that I wanted to do this. Like I wanted to share this business and share these products with people. And I had heard really early on from somebody, I don't even remember who it was that said it, but as soon as all this talk about Leaders Retreat started, I heard somebody say, go to Leaders Retreat because Leaders Retreat and these events are where leaders are born. And so I made it a decision that I wanted to be there. I wanted to be at this event. I didn't even know why I wanted to be there. I just knew I wanted to go. And so I kind of drew my line in the sand like we hear all the time and decided I was going to be at this event. And so I roadmapped my summer out as far as what I needed to do to get there because it was just me and myself and I had all these points that I had to gather. Um, and I was a one man army. So I wrote out my summer as far as like how many points I need per month and how many people I should be reaching out to per week and just really strategically mapping like if I can get these many people as customers and hit this PV and um, anyways it was a wild summer and I learned a lot and I fumbled through it and I hit it at the very end of the summer I think I had a day left or it might have even been the last day and I got it I was so excited and then I'm like what is later's retreat <laughs> so I really had to like figure it out um, and I was really pumped to go. And I felt like if I'm gonna do well in this business, this is what's gonna help me and get me started. Um, so I went into September kind of with this big head thinking like, oh, I just blew through the summer. I'm going to a leader's retreat. I'm gonna do awesome. And I had a big setback in September. It was like, I kind of ran out of leads. Um, I was only really reaching out to people that expressed interest in, in my posts. I'm really new to this. I'm not as high up as everybody else. So this is coming from a perspective that's you know, newer to Plexus and low on the totem pole. Um, I ran out of people to reach out to that were on my little list because I was keeping this list, but I was only writing names down that were people that like liked my post or asked me about something. And I just kind of felt stuck and I got discouraged. Um, I was like, I'm hitting gold in September without a doubt. And then I had, you know, people that weren't quite commission qualified and I was losing points and I just felt scared to reach out to people for fear of like rejection or that I would be like annoying them trying to like bring them into something that they didn't want. Um, so I just kind of like fumbled through those months and going into leaders retreat, I was really excited to go. I just kind of felt like, well, this is it. Like I did all this and now I'm stuck. So I'm just going to leaders retreat to go. But let me tell you, like, they are not kidding. Leaders really are born at these events. And you guys need to do what you have to do to get there because it was just amazing. And so I took so much home from the event going. But for me, 
being newer, the biggest thing I took home was belief. Um, belief in the products and the company and the people. Like I said, I started these products and they have changed my life and I knew they were working for me, but I was kind of stuck in my little bubble here in Austin. I had me and my very small team and my upline and we all loved the products, but it, was, it wasn't it was enough for me to just go out there and be so bold with people. Um, I didn't, my mindset about the products and about the company has really changed. Um, so it gave me a lot of validation, listening to other people's testimonies, like all the people there that I met, I met so many people and hearing their testimony about what the products have done for them and their family and hearing about the success stories financially working the business and hearing all these people that had gone through those same things as me. Like I know my timeline was like short, um, but it was still a is similar and it's different for everybody but I did hear one common thing is that it's not just easy all the time you know you have it comes in waves and you have to want it and you have to go after it and really just take it and so that was a big thing for me um, another huge thing was just feeling like that team camaraderie and that love and support I've always gotten that from Taryn and Amanda and I've I kind of went through and picked out a few people on our Texas group and like almost like force friended them like they didn't know me but I just started messaging them <laughs> and so um, I'd gotten that from those people but feeling that from everybody like everybody was so amazing it wasn't like oh there's Heather she's a silver ambassador I mean I felt like I was really just part of the team like like I think a couple of you mentioned on um, Alec Clark just came up to me and kind of put his arm around me and was like chatting with me about my experience there um, so last when she took the time to like dance with me and talk with me like I just felt like I met so many friends and it was so supportive and there was so much um, just, just a huge team feel to everything and it just fired me up like I am just ready to go I feel like I could reach out to anybody and as long as I was willing to put forth the effort I feel like anybody would help me and so I really am so glad that I was blessed and able to go on this leaders retreat and meet everyone and get that support from everyone um so i guess the last thing that i really brought home with me was that um kind of what you're talking about amy about carrie's speech she was talking about knowing your destination and so when i started this a few months ago i people are like well, what's your why and i i don't want to say i made fun of it because i didn't but i almost kind of chuckled about it like what do you mean what's my why like you know, I, it was kind of superficial at the time and it's really grown so much more. It has so much more passion about it. And just some of the people that I've helped on my team and the huge changes that they've made, my why is so different and my destination is becoming so clear. And that's really helping me to develop those um, long-term goals, but also short-term goals on how I'm going to reach that destiny and how I'm going to get there. And it really helped me develop she was talking about leadership DNA, like that's something that you're not born with. You can change that and you can modify that. And if you want to do this, you can do it. You just have to go out there and do it. Like it's not about wanting it, it's about doing it and making it happen. And y'all, anybody really can do this. Like I didn't believe that for a little bit and I just really truly believe that now. I've heard um, so many people have so many different stories and some people it took months and some people it took years But if they wanted it, they all got there And so I really feel so confident about that and knowing my destination and where I want this to take me um, I've really really thought about my why and my goals and how I'm gonna get there and I have just come home with so much boldness and confidence about the products and the company and that I know I don't feel like oh, I'm bothering people now I feel like these people need these products and if I don't share it with them then I'm like shorting them and so I feel really good about that um, one thing I heard while I was there that has stuck with me and I actually passed it down to my team and it's really sinking in hard was um, what you do today shows up in 90 days and I've only been doing this for like Four months but I see that like just looking back at my four month course I can see that so much those seeds that I'm planting today and those calls that I'm making and those people that I'm just stopping at my son's karate and like hey have you heard of this it's amazing like those flourish and come to be fruitful you know over time and so that was really amazing anyways I came back from leaders retreat on Sunday 
afternoon. I got home at like 2.30, spent the evening and afternoon with my kids because they all miss me. Um, and I kind of woke up the next day. It was Halloween. Obviously, we all knew Monday was Halloween. Um, I only had 50 points. So I kind of had already just accepted defeat for October that it just wasn't going to happen for me. Um, but November, I was getting it. And Amanda called me at like 11 o'clock in the morning. Amanda Grubb, who just drank Sapphire. Congratulations, Amanda. Still so excited for you. Anyways, she had called me um, at 11 and was like, Heather, why aren't you gold? Like, we've got to get you to gold. You know, I'm trying to make this huge rank up. I don't ever ask for help, but I know you can do this. Like, why aren't you trying for it? And I told her, I said, Amanda, I only have 50 points. Like, you're essentially asking me to double my points. It's like 1130 in the morning. I got to be at my son's school in a few hours. I got trick-or-treating tonight. Like, it's just not going to happen. And I think she was a little disappointed, but Amanda's very sweet. And she has her ways. And we got off the phone. And I really started just kind of thinking back to the weekend and all the stories that I had heard. And I'm like, she's right. Like, even if I don't hit my goal, I'm going to help her hit her goal. I know I can do better than this. And I opened my computer up and went through my back office and kind of crunched some numbers. And I was like, I'm confident I can get 35 points. Like, I know I can do that. And so I just started making my phone calls, sending my emails, calling people, asking people stuff. And um, I got through it in like a little handful of hours broken up in my day. And the closer I got to hitting that goal, the closer I was like, I can get gold tonight. Like, I'm going to do it. It's double bonus. I've worked my tail off today. I've gotten all these points. Like, I'm going to do it. And so I did it at like 1048 at night. I got my last one and double my points, hit my goal. Yeah, so exciting. So anyways, I'm fired up and ready to go. And I have a whole new belief and a whole new network and all this support and a bunch of new friends. And it's just great. It's been great from somebody that's at the bottom and new. Y'all, I'm not something, somebody that's special. Like anyone can really do this. You just got to believe in yourself. You got to be confident and you got to be bold. And that's what it takes. Um, from my little four months of experience. Um, but anyways, sorry. I was going to also talk about a few things that Amy mentioned before I pass it over to me again. Um, some really neat things that I got to hear about that were coming out that they talked about during leaders retreat was there is a new blog. It's called Sunny and Share. It's on plexusworldwide.com and it apparently launched yesterday. Launched yesterday. Shame on me. I was um, being really bold and just reaching out to people that I never in a million years would have reached out to. So I haven't checked it out yet, but it apparently launched yesterday. It's a lot of health hacks and recipes um, and they made it really pretty with lots of pretty graphics and easily shareable. So you can share all those things to your social media. And then there is another new tool. It's under the little tools tab in your back office. And it's those shareables that we had for Edge and Block over the summer. But they've been made now made them for the Triplex, which is amazing. There's like a digital brochure and all these um, compliant posts that you can post to your page and make little posts. And they link back to your, your website. And those are all back office, go to tools, shareables, and then you just open it up and it's, you click on triplex, I think on the left side, and then it pulls up a bunch of neat tools that you can use. Um, and then let's see, we have a slim block three day trial pack coming back and that is launching on, I think November 14th. Yes, those will be available on November 14th for $11.99. So like great things to give out for the holidays to teachers and people at school, crossing guards. Um, and then there's been, I know this was something that lots of people were very excited about that's been dealing with the frustrating mobile shopping thing for years. I guess I'm getting it at the right time, but <laughs> there are big mobile enhancements that launched November 1st, making it easier to shop from mobile devices supposed to decrease the clicks by like half the amount of clicks from login to checkout and the desktop tablet enhancements are launching December 1st so we're super excited about that and I believe that was all I was supposed to bring up on this so yeah <laughs> lots of good things coming we're excited Woohoo! Thank you so much, Heather. And I, we're so excited for your gold rank up. And you guys, that is just the perfect example of grit and determination and what having that clear destination 
can bring, you know, she went and she just decided to do it and she did it. And that is how this business works. You have to make that decision, but it has to come from within your upline cannot make that decision for you. Your upline cannot say, I want you to hit gold. So you're going to hit gold. No, it has to be you putting feet to your dreams and it has to be you having that clear cut understanding of your why, which sounds so cheesy, but if you don't have something that's driving you day in, day out to get through you those rough times, it's going to be so difficult for you to have success long-term in this business. So I'm going to hand it over to Megan, who is our brand new Emerald. She hit Emerald right before Leaders Retreat. And oh my gosh, I could not be ex more excited for her. You guys, let me just tell you, this girl is a rock star. She joined in October of last year during the back office, like, Armageddon <laughs> and in a year she's gone Emerald. So Megan, take it away. Hi guys. Um, I just, I still Emerald Sarah. I can't, <laughs> I can't even get the word to come out of my mouth. I can't believe it. Um, but Sarah's right. Last year at this time, I was just like you guys. I mean, I don't even think I remember, um, back, Sarah made a post. She was going to leaders retreat and she said, okay, guys, tell me, where are you right now? And where were you a year ago? And I thought to myself, oh my gosh, let's actually see. Okay. Cause me being the skeptic wanted to know, okay, Plexus, how much rank can people actually achieve? And I started looking at it and I'd see people say they were silver last year and now they're Ruby. And I was like, oh my gosh. Well, I scrolled down and I came across somebody that said they were silver and now they were emerald. And it was people from all different teams posting. And I thought, that's where I want to be. That's it. That's where I want to be. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to get there. And I had no idea how I was going to do it, <laughs> I, but I wanted it. I wanted it really bad. And I drew this line in the sand, like Amy's talking about. Um, and what Carrie talked about. And I decided no matter what, I'm going to get there. And um, I guess I just, as I was preparing for this call, I wanted to talk to you guys about what is my biggest takeaway. And I know everybody has said it. And it's what Carrie Wilkerson said, just stop. <laughs> stop the excuses. Stop. You know, we all have many jobs. We all have lots going on. We all have little time and are, have all, most of us started struggling when we started this business. I had $11 in my bank account when I started Plexus and just stop, make it happen, figure out a way to make it happen. Because let me tell you, it is so worth it. Going to leaders retreat just changes your whole mindset. It's incredible. You, you look around and this is the superficial part of me. I'm like, Oh, there's Celeste Quinn. Oh, there's Sarah Marvel. There's all these plexus celebrities. And you know what? Rachel Rogers just talked to me. She had an actual conversation with me. Why would she want to talk to me? You know, and you look around and it's just awesome. I left leaders retreat and I actually messaged Sarah. I was like, did Sarah Marvel just request my friendship? I'm pretty sure she has the wrong person. <laughs> I know my name's spelled like Megan and it's pronounced Megan. I'm pretty sure it's the wrong person, but it's just awesome. Everybody's on the same playing field. Everybody wants you to be successful. It's this incredible network of women and men who all have the same goal, who all want to help people's health. And there really is nothing more motivational than that. It was just awesome. And, you know, it's great that we say, you know, no excuses, but how do we do that? And that's where I learned a lot from Sarah last year. I think, Sarah, you were sponge. You said when you first started, you were a sponge. And for some reason, that word just stuck with me. And that's kind of what Carrie was saying. Stop the excuses. Be a sponge. You know, watch YouTube videos. Watch um read books, watch any sort of training, go to Super Saturday and attend any sort of training that you can. You know, I had to turn off Real Housewives of Orange County and be about that plexus life. <laughs> I mean, it was like the things 
I started thinking about the time that I spent on stuff that was not productive. You know, as much as I loved my Real Housewives of Orange County, it wasn't productive. So instead, when I got on that elliptical at the gym, I was watching a YouTube video and or listening to it and um, listening to audio tapes. I sort of had difficulty finding time when I'd get home and be tired from work to read. So I made a compromise. I bought my audio book and I listened to it on my car ride to work um, during my commute. And it's just little tiny things that you can do that um, make it all the while. And it's, it's just so worth it because it was honest to God, one of the most inspiring experiences I've ever had. It's just truly one plexus. You know, there's this expression for those of you who are new to the, to the company, one plexus. Well, what, what is that? What does that mean? I never really understood it. Um, and it's, it's, you have a diamond upline and you have a silver ambassador all in the same room supporting the exact thing and wanting to bring success to everybody, whether you're on the same team or you're not. And it just, for me, it almost makes me tear up thinking about it. But um, someone on my team, Sheena, who just won Emerald this last month, Sheena Hall is a rock star and just awesome. She was asked to speak at um, one of the international meetings that they had for the internationals there. And I went to support her and I'm sitting in the room and, and our friend Jenny was there too. I, there was four people from our team who came this year, which is, crazy to think about that I barely it was even silver last year and now have four people that I'm bringing this year. Um, but we're sitting in the room and next thing I know, I turn around and in walks Sarah Taylor and her husband, Gavin. And then you've got Amanda and you have um, Taryn and our uplines are there. And then there's um, sideline sisters and many people from our team. And then I turn around and standing behind them, is the CEO of Flexus. And I look around and there's people from corporate there and everybody is there listening, supporting this member of our team. And it's just truly one Plexus. And to me, that mindset, that support, that um, belief is the number one thing you can get from Leaders Retreat. And that is something that's a feeling. That's not something that we can articulate into words and we can do the best we can. But that feeling that I got, it's what makes you come back and want to be bold and not care. You know, I, I, people who know me know I'm, I'm chatty with my friends and family, but I'm kind of an introvert. The idea of doing a video um, you know, Sarah Taylor has 7,000 people on her team. The idea of doing a video like this last year at this time, I would have been just shaking. I mean, I, there's no way I would have done something like this. And I, there's nothing I would rather do more than come back and talk to people about what a gift we have. A gift financially, a gift um, for health, a gift emotionally, a confidence gift, uh, a gift in every single way. And it's when you have something like that, you just want to share it with everybody. And I don't think that even though I had ranked Emerald right before I went, I don't think it really clicked to me, this one plexus. I don't think any of that really clicked until I was standing there in a room surrounded by people who, in my mind, were way more important than me. And they're next to me and we're all on the same level and we're all supporting the same cause. So, um, it was just awesome. It was just awesome. And I just want every single person on this call, on our teams, to get to Leaders Retreat. Do whatever it takes because it is so worth it. And I think, I think those were my takeaways. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Megan. Uh, I mean, it was such an amazing, the, the one thing that, you know, you kept saying is um, family. It does. It feels like a huge family. And I guarantee you there's no other network marketing company that it's not filled with competition from one team to the next and things like that. And really and truly everybody in Plexus wants everybody in Plexus to succeed. And that's what I love about this company. And it's just palpable 
palpable <laughs> while you're there. And, um, you know, coming up on this next year, Plexus Corporate really wants us to succeed. I am going to tell you guys about a project that I have been working on for quite some time now. And um, I presented about it at Plex at uh, the leaders retreat. And so one of the things that they talked about was, or that we, that we talked about at the leaders retreat was this rank up roadmap. And one of the cool things, oops, can you mute? there you go. Okay. I got gotcha. Um, one of the, the biggest things that, um, that, you know, Plexus has poured pretty much every resource into this Rank Up Roadmap project for the next year. And it's going to be the major initiative. It's what we're going to be talking about at Super Saturday and training on at Super Saturday. But what they want to do is they want to provide corporate and ambassador support. So mingled together, something that we're working on a project with them together, they want to provide this support to impact attrition, to impact um, longevity of ambassadors, to impact the success of ambassadors. And so from the moment that people sign up, they're going to be helped through all of these training measures. They're going to be um, sent belief videos and um, reasons why they should try and go silver and reasons why our company is different than, than all the other network marketing companies out there. It's going to be um, an initiative to help them um, understand that they have the support and training from corporate, even if they don't have the support and training maybe from an upline because their upline's brand new or something along those lines. This is going to be an initiative that's going to pick up all the pieces and fill in all the craps, cracks of where everybody else is, you know, of, of where all these ambassadors that kind of fall through those cracks are. And so the rank of roadmap is going to be at every single rank. And when you just sign up, it's going to um, send an email and take you to a portal where you're going to have rank specific training and you're going to have videos that you can watch. There's going to be all kinds of different things where you can watch videos, you can read um, articles, where you can even look at a pie chart that's going to tell you how much time you should be spending on leadership development, personal development, um, IPAs, that type of thing. And it's going to lay it all out and it's going to show you exactly how to get from ambassador to silver, silver to gold, gold to senior gold, and so on. And every single time that you rank up, you're going to receive a new initiative and a new training and everything like that. And all of these trainings are a conglomeration of diamond ambassadors that we have been working on this project. And so it's going to help everybody roadmap from point A to point B at every single rank. But not only that, when people sign up, it's going to help catch them at that first critical 24 to 48 hours before the success kit can arrive. And it's going to entice them to start working their business, if not only to start paying for their triplex, you know, that type of thing. And we're going to have an initiative at 48 hours after they sign up, they're going to get a video that's going to explain to them what Fast Start Gold is. And it's going to teach them how to get to Fast Start Gold. So it's all the what is it and the how and the okay, we're going to help you execute it. So what the Super Saturday training is, is it's going to be teaching us as leaders how to utilize these tools to help move our business forward. So there's going to, it's going to take a lot of the um, guesswork out of it, but it's not going to replace any of the upline work. It's going to be in addition to what you guys are providing as leaders. We want to partner with you guys and we want to build that bond and that bridge and really, really, really help move your teams forward as one. And so it's a really, really cool initiative. You guys have to get to Super Saturday. It is going to impact the rest of your year. And it is probably one of the most critical things that you can get to this year. And it's totally in your control as to whether or not you attend. It's going to cost under $20. I think it's like 18 bucks. I haven't heard the final amount or anything like that. But registration is going to go up tomorrow. And it's going to be about this rank up roadmap, but there's going to also be a lot of other content in it as well to help you guys. You guys, corporate wants you to succeed. And that is why corporate is doing these types of initiatives. They keep making these changes to help better us as a team and to help us have success. They have brought on coaches for the jewel ambassadors and everything. I mean, they are investing tons and tons of time and money into these types of initiatives. So to me, these kinds of things are just, oh my gosh, it's going to change absolutely everything. It's going to be such a good partnership between corporate and the field. So really, you guys, that's one of the biggest takeaways too that I got is just that sense of 
of peace and calm and um, confidence that we really are with the best company and that we really are. And that's not just lip service, you guys. I fully believe that. I am very, very convicted in that, that we are with the best company, with the best leadership that we could possibly be in. And if you are even remotely considering having success in network marketing, Flexus is absolutely where you want to be. And not only that, I'm pretty partial to this team. I think we have a lot of really amazing individuals and leaders on this team that can all help us move forward. And we're one big family. That was never more clear than at um, Leaders Retreat, you guys. I mean, there were so many different instances that happened where our team just like came together and helped each other out. So I just, you know, I want you guys to realize this, that this get to Super Saturday, get to the next event, do what you can to get there, register tomorrow. And the last thing I want to say is draw your line in the sand, you guys. Anything can happen. I don't care what level you're at right now. I don't care how stuck you feel in your business right now. You guys can do this, but it takes the decision and the waking up every single day, not just the last four days of the month, every single day in the month to make it happen. And you have to have your eyes solidly on that prize, solidly on your destination and solidly looking at the future and knowing I'm going diamond or I'm going emerald or I'm going senior gold or wherever you're at make the decision and stop making the excuses. You guys, good night. Thank you so much for joining us. And I can't wait to see you guys at Super Saturday.